Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I will be sharing with you my skincare routine. So for my type of skin, just to give you a brief background, so I have combination dry and oily skin. So I'm oily on my T-zone and dry on this part of my face. Also, I don't usually break out. The problem that I encounter usually for my skin is blackheads on my nose area and also sometimes when I'm so stressed. In school, then I would get occasional pimples here on my forehead. And the only time that I break out is when it's my time of the month. And after that, um, I don't have any problems at all. And if you ask me on what I do on my pimples, I don't do anything to them. I just leave them be because I know not in a few days, they will just disappear on their own. So that's just a brief introduction on my skin. So what I'm going to share with you is my 5-step skincare routine. 5-step in a sense that I use 5 products on my face but actually I only use like 2 or 3 in my morning skincare and 4 for my night skincare. So just a disclaimer, products that I'm going to share with you and the reviews that I will share to you are based from my own personal experience. These products may or may not work for your skin because we all have different skin types. I'm not claiming to be a skin expert. My reviews are purely my own. First step is cleanser. So the cleansers that I've been using for the past month are these products. First is the Garnier Pure Active Anti-Acne White. So this is it. And the second product, this cleanser from Lux Organics HA BHA Miracle Solutions Cleanser. So the only reason that I'm using this products is because it's the one that we have here in our house. And I didn't want to buy a new cleanser because my skin is not usually very juicy in types of the cleanser that I use. As long as it can cleanse my face, it can remove the dirt, it can remove the oil from my skin, then I'm already good to go. But still, the cleanser that you use depends on your skin type. But if I'm gonna recommend a certain product, then the one that I'm using when I was still in Manila is the Peripera Cleanser, which I'm just gonna put a picture here. I wasn't able to bring it with me here, so I'm just using whatever that is available here in our house. But I really recommend that one because uh, my problem area is usually my forehead. Whenever I'm stressed, I get um, little pimples that are not usually that obvious but um, I noticed that when I used it I don't really encounter those problems and the thing with this is that it, um, one of its ingredients include SLS which is sodium lauryl sulfate it's the ingredient that makes cleansers um, very soapy very bubbly and when you apply it on your skin it produces bubbles easily compared to other cleansers and also it makes the um, product harder to remove on your face. So that's the ingredient that I didn't like in this one but um, if you ask me if I get breakouts with this, I'm not really. So that's just my main concern on this one. And this one, um, it's a scrub and I didn't encounter that much problems also but in these two products, I noticed that after washing my face, my skin feels tighter and that's just because I think there are just too many chemicals in here that causes my skin to feel the tightness but I recently just bought this one. This is the Hadalabo Cleanser. It's a super hyaluronic acid and claims to give hydration and whitening to your skin. So after using this one, it doesn't feel tight on my skin. This is actually from Japan and I've heard of this brand way before, years before pa. And I just wanted to try this out. And because I already run out of this, like wala na tong laman. It's, these are already empty. So I bought this one and this is what I'm currently using for two days. So next is after using the cleanser. By the way, I don't have any product on my face right now and I just finished cleansing my face. So now I'm gonna move on to my toner which is the step two. So for the toner, I'm using the Thayer's Facial Toner which Hazel Aloe Vera Formula. It's in the Rose Petal variant. 
So they say that the use of toners is it helps prep your skin so that um, the next products that you're going to apply on your skin after the toner will be absorbed more easily. And also it helps balance the pH of your skin. And I like this Thayer's one because it's, it doesn't sting because it's alcohol free and I got this from Shopee so I just bought this from the shop of my friend and if you're looking for some Korean skincare products that are authentic you may want to check their shop out I'm just gonna link this in the description box so I know that some people don't like this because it didn't work for their skin but for my skin it did work like I no longer have my problems here in my forehead whenever I'm stressed I think this definitely helped it because I only started using this like three months ago and so far I don't have any pimples on my forehead. If you're interested on in trying out this one, then just check out the link in the description box. So for the next step, which is serum, the one that I'm using is from The Ordinary. So this is the Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1%. So I know that this product is quite famous. That's why I decided to try it. So what I do is just, I just use two drops. Then I'm gonna spread it onto my palm and apply it on my face. So when I searched about the use of Niacinamide, it says that it helps lessen the size of your pores. It also helps in brightening your face. It helps with acne. I apply it um, twice a day in the morning and at night. And also I forgot in the morning, I add this product which is the sunscreen, which is my sunscreen. The one I use is from Bure. I'm not sure if I pronounce it right. This is Bure UV with SPF 50 plus and PA plus plus plus. So if I have one holy grail product for my morning skincare, it would be sunblock. Even though I don't go out of the house, I still use sunblock every day. Like every day. And also one sunblock that I also recommend is from Can Make. This is the Mermaid Skin Gel UV. And I actually bought this in Japan and I'm not sure if it's available here in the Philippines. But Michelle Fan also recommended this product. So if you're looking for a sheer coverage, this doesn't have any coverage at all. This just leave a white cast on your face and your skin doesn't look like you applied any sunblock at all. Just a little white cast on your face that's not too obvious. And lastly, next after the serum is my moisturizer. The one that I use is the Tomato Glass Skin Soothing Gel Lotion. This is from Fresh Skin Lab. And I bought this last January. Then it still has a lot of product left. So it's really worth it. So I don't use moisturizer every day. I just apply this every other day. Because I noticed that if I'm, I apply moisturizer every day, then that's the time that I get pimples here on my forehead. So I try to not use this every day. But it still depends on your skin. So skincare tip is to listen to your skin. Your skincare is just a trial and error. So it will really take time for you to really find the perfect skincare that will suit your skin type. So that's my face after the moisturizer. So I just went out and I just want to show you how my skin looks like when outside with natural lighting. So here it is. So before I forget, it's not really a part of skincare but I like to put lip balm on my lips before I sleep to prevent it from being chapped. So the one I'm using is from Lucas Papo Ointments. I bought this from Watson. So now let's move on to my skincare tips. So first is the Holy Grail skincare tip which is to drink lots of water. So I think that one thing that really helped me improve my skin is because I love drinking water. And not only is it helpful for your skin but it's also helpful for your body so if you're not fond of drinking water then this is the sign that you should be drinking water or maybe as soon as you watch this get your water and drink it the next skincare tip is to take care of your body so as much as you want your skin to be healthy 
you should be taking care of your body as well because if you're healthy on the inside then it will definitely reflect on the outside so what i do is i like to take a lot of multivitamins and also i take antioxidants in the form of glutathione so i'm taking multivitamins plus iron every day and also for the antioxidant the one i'm taking is from lumens this was just recommended to me by my friend and i think this definitely helped me improve my skin because after taking this also i just um, started with this one and this one and also this one the moment that i combined all of this or started using these products because i got this at the same time acne on my forehead is not that problematic anymore so i got this from shopee also from the same shop where i got this and also if you're interested on purchasing glutathione which is my antioxidant source then i'm just gonna link it on the description box and this is not sponsored and i've heard a lot of reviews with this product that's why i decided to try it it's definitely helped my skin glow compared to the usual that my skin is really dull when i'm not wearing some makeup so now as you can probably notice i'm not wearing any makeup on most of my vlogs and that confidence is most probably because of my skincare so that's it for my skincare and i hope you like this video and if you do please give it a thumbs up and also please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and also i might be uploading a new video in the same week that i'm uploading this one so just wait for it and thank you for watching bye Walking downtown and I'm okay